years. And there's nobody here that's probably better capable of making some comments than Dr. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> You've been empowered. Perhaps you go over one of his scripts. You really did. I, let me just offer a, a quick comment or two uh, regarding my friend. <laughs> Come on over here. As I came to Tullahoma two and a half decades ago, there were three old guys in this building. And I really thought that, if nothing else, before they padded off to retirement somewhere, I could steal some ideas from those three old guys, and they could keep me out of trouble. And as I was willing to listen, they did that. As I was inclined not to listen, I paid the price for that. But those three old guys, Dean and Wayland and Mike, truly established for us. And yeah, you see, Wayland has to leave his <laughs> Established for us a culture in this community and a culture that was all about respect and character and trust and enjoying each other and the work that we did. Mike never came to work without a set of dreams. And that set of dreams was about, first and foremost, his faith, and then a family that he held dear. Even if he didn't agree with what Michael was doing at that time, even if he was <laughs> disappointed with Tim's decision on something, and even if he was considering where Leanne was going and what Leanne was going to do, his first and foremost goal in his regard was to provide for a family that he knew was going to be his legacy. And as we think about that legacy here tonight and his family that's with him, we see that he's done a remarkable job in that work. So Michael, Leanne, Tim, congratulations. You have exceeded every expectation that your daddy ever had of you and you are truly establishing for him a tremendous legacy for the lot of my family. As I said, Mike was all about dreams and his dreams went a lot of places. So there were times that Mike told us and Waylon can attest to the truthfulness of everything that I say. <laughs> Mike always had a, an incremental step. Dean's out? No. Oh, okay. Uh, always had an incremental set of steps that he was looking at for retirement. So retirement was always going to be this year, and then this year, and then this year, and then this year. But as he talked about that retirement and what he was going to do, the, the dreams, the work, the way he was going to add value was always going to include working at a Christian school. So if there's been one recurring theme that I knew about Mike for the last two and a half decades, it was the fact that someday, couldn't have had it for my kids, but my grandkids are going to have an opportunity and folks in my community are going to have an opportunity that I think is terribly important. Don't you see that? Mike's a public school guy. Mike's mother was a public school teacher. Mike's father was a trained guy. So Mike is a, was raised in public schools, but he truly sees the value of faith. So while other dreams may have come and gone, the dream, the aspiration, the goal of Putting that shovel in the ground and starting a school became a reality. Mike is one of the few people that I know that has retired from public school work to go be a superintendent. Most of us <laughs> go the other way. But Winchester Christian Academy couldn't have a better superintendent. They couldn't have someone who is more focused on the children, on the community, and on the vision of establishing something great for the community of believers 
in Franklin County, Tennessee. There are few folks that I think more highly of than Mike Broadway. Those few folks will know how to read a map. Mike does. <laughs> With Mike, you didn't ever have to, to conduct some investigation to see what went wrong. Because within three days of whatever had happened, Mike was quick to sit in a room. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. Mike was quick to sit in a room with Wayland and Dean and myself, and he dropped his head and he'd tell us a story. And our joke was. Mike, for a Church of Christ kid, he do more confessionals than anybody I know. <laughs> he confessed better than any Catholic and I know. But Mike would always confess about, I did this, I did this, I should have done this, I should have thought about that. But I know that in all of those occurrences, every one of them, when I default to the reason, it was all about being in favor of and in support of people. Mike loved this community like no other. And he spent 25 years, excuse me, 35 years, not being able to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he couldn't go back to Franklin County. So this is really a great place. <laughs> Mike, welcome out of the closet. <laughs> And more than that, thank you for all of the investment you've made. Thank you for making this school district what it has become. And thank you for being a great friend. Appreciate it. Anybody else? Want to come here too? Here's your chance, Mike. <laughs> Not often do you get to preach after your funeral. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he's going to make it hard to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I have a challenge with that anyway sometimes. Believe it or not. Uh, you did it one time. Yeah. I don't have that time. <laughs> salvation because it got me off the road. Uh, I, was, uh, I was traveling to Tuskegee, Alabama every Sunday night after we put the kids to bed and, uh, and working down there and coming home on Fridays. And I was in a hospital. I was in health care at the time. And I did that for six months when uh, this, this opportunity became available. And uh, Dr. Embry gave me that opportunity to come here. Uh, and I probably have to admit that I accepted the Tallahassee City Schools check for a long time before it came full circle to me at this This is a really good school system. <laughs> and uh, to be willing to fight for it. So uh, it's been a, a something that's developed over time for me to uh, to be able to say that this is me and this is uh, this is what I'm proud of here with Thomas City Schools and all the people and uh, all of the school boards, all the people that have put up with him. Uh, but uh, it's, it's been a blessing to me and my family. 
And I tell this story, I've told it several times uh, over the years. It wasn't long after I got here that I realized that it was in my best interest, even if I didn't move, that my kids need to <coughs> school over here. And they were, at the time, they were 12, 9, and 7. Uh, maybe we had maybe 13, 10, 8, but it, anyway. Uh, and so uh, we had a vote. Uh, Sandra and, and the kids voted, and it was four to one to not come over here. <laughs> <laughs> and so that proved to me that I'd done a good job of indoctrinating them into the same thing that I'd come over here as far as the rivalry. And uh, so, uh, but it has been a blessing, and all of you have been a blessing to me, and uh, I appreciate it so much. And it's been a, a glorious uh, 35 years. I, I come over here tonight, Sandra said, how old were you when you came out? 38 years old when I started here. <laughs> Younger than any of my children. And uh, uh, it's, uh, and I was the oldest of those four guys, old guys, and uh, the last one to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't say a whole lot for how smart I was. <laughs> But thank you all very much for coming and, uh, and honoring me and speaking to me tonight. And I appreciate you so much. And it's, uh, it's been a pleasure to be a part of Tom Six Schools. The mayor has been here and he was disappointed that you weren't here. He, uh, he is at the same time they're having a reception for the new commander of the base. But he left this proclamation for you. Certificate of recognition to Mike Rogers on behalf of 18,655 citizens that called Tullahoma home and by the authority vested in me, Mayor Tullahoma, I now therefore proclaim Monday, September 23rd, 2019, in celebration of 34 years of dedicated service to Tullahoma City Schools, Mike Rogers in Tullahoma. Take that back to the Mayor Franklin County. <laughs> I urge and beseech all citizens to recognize the same. Congratulations on your retirement. Best wishes, Lane Curley. Atticus, would this be a good time to recognize the Thank you. Um, you may have heard in the background we had some music for us tonight because we wanted to do something special. We have artwork up in the room and we want something special for everything on here. Um, and I'm supposed to say a few words about what is going on. This group is these are uh, eighth grade flute players from East Middle School. So, what this book is all about is finding 
that special something that everyone can do and celebrate. And so this is third grade, right? And, and, and ladies, if you could help me out. Um, each, each color, each part of the color palette here represents a different school. The part of the color palette represents a different school. The red we start with, red and orange are East Lincoln. The yeah. yellow is Bel Air, the green is Fair, the blue and purple is Ferrari. Let's give these ladies one more. That because I'm in the classroom with them every day. <laughs> so Anna, here's Anna Claire Ray, here's Isabella Engel, Olivia Murphy, Emily Melstro, um, and there's Sarah Eakin and Hope. And Lisa is right there. <laughs> service and the business director and fine arts on the same time. <laughs> Thanks everybody. We'll have just a little bit of notations about Mike in the, the business meeting, but most of you are going to probably free to go. I'm going to recite the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, everyone is here, but Miss Usherton was not able to attend tonight. And the next thing we want to do is approve the agenda as presented. I think everybody has been, we had uh, a fourth item that was sent in by Ms. Vaughn later uh, under unfinished business. Is there any additions or anything that needs to be commented on the agenda? If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept the agenda as presented. I have a motion by Ms. Johnson. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Ross. Any further discussion? If not, if you're for the agenda, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Thank you. Is there anyone here to address the board on an agenda item or a non-agenda item? Somebody emailed me today. I want to apologize for not, I was in route to Knoxville and back and did not, I felt like the safety of I-40 <laughs> just kept my phone down. Plus, they find you for that night. If you please come, come forward, or just stand up. Give us your name, please. Okay. Um, I'm Alisa Mitchell. I teach at uh, Telehome High School, and I have for about 15 years. And I'm the principal of the Thoroughly Institute. Um, I just uh, thank you for letting me speak. Uh, and I had to write it down so I forget. Take your time. <laughs> um, Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to the Telehoma City School Board um, members. Um, like I said, I teach science at Telehoma High School. And on behalf of myself and my family, uh, we would like to thank several employees uh, for their hard work and time spent toward ensuring a safe workplace environment for me to return to tomorrow um, since I have asthma. In, uh, situations. I had a lot of people doing a lot of work that I wanted to tell them how much I appreciate. Um, and these wonderful people have worked very hard on my behalf and I wanted to let everyone know uh, how much I appreciate it. First, um, Mr. Uh, Jason Ray, um, thank you very much to you and everyone that worked with you. Um, Mr. Tim Jensen, <laughs> Mr. Tim Jensen and staff, um, THS Principal Bose, um, and administration staff, um, the nurse Lori, well, I don't know her last name yet. Welch. Um, Welch, okay. Spelled incorrectly with a C, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ms. Lori Welch, and uh, the THS custodial staff, and all of the THS um, faculty and staff, and I look, uh, I work for great 
um, school system, wonderful school system, and I look forward to working uh, with the THS administration, staff, and students uh, for years to come. And uh, thank you for the time and attention. Thank you for your comments. Anyone else? Not Ms. Vaughn, would you make sure that uh, what's the formal way that the, the minutes are sprinkled with our acknowledgement of the hard work and the service that Mr. Rod was provided and that we had a reception that was well attended and Dr. Lawson's here to make comments and his family was all here also, please. And mention that he is now citizen of the, of the, of the day proclaimed by the mayor. Consent agenda's next item. Is there any item to be pulled off the consent agenda for further discussion? Not to entertain a motion to accept the consent agenda as presented. We have a motion. So moved. So moved by Ms. Fogarty. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Lawson. I've got you identified tonight a little bit better. <laughs> Thanks for <remembering>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell others about that inside joke here. Uh, we've got a motion to second. Any further discussion? If not, if for the consent agenda as presented, please raise your hand. Be opposed. Unfinished business. Building and grounds. There's two main items to talk about. Uh, the first, the maintenance committee has met, and we understand that there's Two, three schools especially need some touching up. Uh, Bel Air, THS, and uh, East Middle. And we've uh, found a contractor that's willing to work with two men for $62.50 an hour, including all his insurance, liability, workman's comp, all of that. Um, and our idea is to put him to work with, uh, is Mr. Dr. Dillon Hay back there? No, he's not out. But he, he'll supervise and come up the rooms he wants to attack first, and and I, I told uh, the contractor that it felt like we would commit to at least 80 hours. That'd be less than five thousand dollars, which I think is a really cheap investment to find out whether a few more people might be able to help get our maintenance situation, especially those three schools up to date. That doesn't require a a, uh, a vote. Does anybody have a comment about that or question? If not, we'll go to the landscaping bids. The committee also has, wants to authorize Mr. Ray to come up with a request for a proposal for landscaping at the seven schools. And we'll, we'll worry about the, 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 that. Will require a motion and a vote later on. First, we'll see what the landscaping people come back with. They're going to be directed to have small plants that are low maintenance with uh, mulch being stoned, some type of stone. And we'll go from there. Any comment or question on that? not we've got a meeting coming up pretty soon and uh, we'll continue on c's board policy section four instructional services that's is that next mr hardwell i believe that the same no, okay <coughs> Um, this is the final vote for um, the changes, the cleaning up that we've done for Section 4. Um, that's basically all that we've already done. Yeah, we ran through, right through the right. study session too. Okay. Any questions or comments? Sir? That does require a vote, I believe, does it not, Ms. Johnson? It does. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to accept the changes made to Section 4 Instructional Services. We have a motion. Somebody. Motion by Ms. Robinson. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Hill. Any further discussion? Not if there's a motion, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Designation of disciplinary offer, officer. <coughs> that, that has always been a name. And um, we could just say the director of schools, but I, I'd rather just make it more formal and have my name. And at some point, we'll probably have another one, but we can, we can face that down the road, too. I, I would entertain a motion to, to name Scott Harbour as the disciplinary officer for the school system. So moved. Motion by Ms. Lawson. Is there a second? Second. 
Second by Ms. Johnson. Any further discussion? If not, if for the motion, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Thank you. New business. Contract. Excuse me. Plan. Thank you. Strategic plan. And that I know there's probably some more work to be done on that, but this is the only one we really got a little bit of a timetable on. I think uh, Susan has got, Miss Fanning has got, uh, we've got an October the 15th date yes, deadline. Right. We can send that in. If, if there's something that they want to change or something we want to change, we can change it later, but we need to meet, meet the deadline. Everybody has should have a copy sent to them. I'd entertain a motion to to set the uh, strategic plan and get it sent to the state office by October 15th. Is there a motion? Summon. Motion by Ms. Robinson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Hill. Any further discussion on the strategic plan? If not, if you're for the motion, please raise your hand. <coughs> Any opposed? Now we can go to the contract consideration of Mr. Harbo. Mr. Miller. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, at your request, I have met with Mr. Hargrove uh, at least twice and discussed with him his contract. And uh, I've provided the uh, board members with copies of the draft and the final draft. Uh, <clears throat> the contract's very similar to uh, a normal, but as an interim, it's on a month to month basis. And, um, I've been uh, so any time that the board decides to select a new director, then you know, and it, if it is not Mr. Harbro, then it will be he'll go back to his former position as principal. Um, is uh, he's got a base salary uh, that was agreed upon by him and the chairman, uh, $8,560 a month and provides for uh, basic benefits as we've always done for uh, other directors. Any questions? Any questions or comments? Not I'll entertain a motion to, to authorize the chairman to execute the contract for Mr. Harbaugh. So moved. Motion by Ms. Lawson, is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Hill, any further deliberation? Not if for the contract to be executed, please raise your hand. Anybody opposed? Thanks again. Approval of attorneys. Mr. Ray? Yes, the uh, proposal in front of you uh, is, is twofold. I'm sorry, I wasn't aware I was. <laughs> um, I did the same thing, Dr. Lawson. All right. Um, and there, there are basically two sections, I believe, um, what you have there in front of you. The first is a special education uh, council uh, recommending Bennett the Camp of Chattanooga. And the second for services uh, to continue to be by, by Mr. Miller. The details uh, included there for a uh, monthly retainer and uh, additional services as needed. Now we, we'll need two motions when we get ready for that. The uh, special ed, is that that portion of the uh, retainer, that, that firm has, has done that for decades now and I believe they're considered the premier they are. firm in, in the state for that. So let's let's go ahead and, and get that. What is the correct? Recommend Bennett and DeCamp, Chattanooga, to be the attorney for special education. I'll entertain a motion to, as such. So moved. Motion by Ms. Fogarty. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Johnson. Any further discussion? If not if you favor that motion, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Give us a brief history. Of the, of the, the we, we switched to a, okay, a different option, back, which we've been referring to as option two. Uh, if you go back actually 20 years, we started off at, on a uh, basically an hourly basis, and after probably uh, 10, 12 years, um, the board um, decided 
asked me for some proposals that would include a certain level of work for a static dollar number. And uh, we moved to a partial retainer and to hourly work. So there were things included, things not included. That has just kind of <coughs> changed over the last, I guess, eight to 10 years. Uh, about 18 months ago, I think, uh, I was asked to make a proposal whereby 95 to 99 percent of all work would come under one static number. That way it could be budgeted out. Um, you knew what your dollar amount was. Uh, and the only thing that was not included would be uh, litigation. Um, and so that's the proposal that's in front of you. Um, we had, uh, at that time, Mr. Rogley was still uh, in the, his position, former position, and we had numbers that we just looked back over the last five to eight years of what normal work had been and came up with a number. Clifton, this might be a sensitive question, but I'm just going to ask it for transparency's sake. So litigation is not something that we as a school board are able to ever um, recoup, by the way, or typically we're not. No. No, you mean recoup your expenses? Correct. No, uh, there would be, it'd be very rare. Uh, if you were in a contract action with someone and that contract provided for attorney's fees, maybe, than 20 years I've been here, we've never been in that position. So, historically, you know, from a historical basis, I would I would say no, you're most likely never going to be in that kind of position. Any other questions or comments? Thank you. If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept the proposal from Henry uh, McCord, Bain, and Miller. Sorry. Motion by Ms. Fogarty, is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Robson. Any further discussion? If not, for the motion, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Thank you. All right, election of officers. You all can make motions and figure out how you want to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to run that part. We've, we had, at times we voted, there's been nominations and uh, motions rather made for a block in my office. So I'm, I'm not going to direct that portion of the meeting. I nominate the block as it is currently to continue. Exact dynamic. That, that would be. Uh, you as president, Kim as vice. Ms. Lawson as secretary. Correct. Okay. That's my nomination. Is there any other? My one concern is that with the upcoming election cycle, if we are going to lose any of the current members on the board, I mean, I don't know what everybody's thought is who's up for election, whether they're going to continue to run or not. And um, I guess I sort of pointed at you. <laughs> True. But the question is, like, does somebody else, do we switch anything in order to <coughs> prepare for any imminent change a year from now? There, there would be a possibility that two might change of the, of the, of the candidates that she had in her, in her motion. And I, I don't know, I'm not ready to decide what I want to do. I'm going to consult plenty of people and, uh, and make a, a decision. I, I feel like Kim is in the same boat, but I don't, I don't know that. But Ms. Lawson would still be here the following year. But that would be, wouldn't really come into effect until like next August, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. So at that point, then some kind of decision could be made right. or would have to be made. Right. Do we have a second to the motion? Second. Second. All right. With, with there being no other motions, and we'll, we'll I'll call the question on the, on the first one. <coughs> we'll retain the same as we have had in the last year. Any further discussion? If not, if you feel the motion, please raise your hand. Is 
there any way I can vote for two people and not one? Not as the motion not stands. Not as the motion stands. <laughs> so, so, so be it. You have to vote for yourself. <laughs> All right. The appointments. We've had several emails where the question was asking, we please, with the change that we've been having and the increased committee work. And I must admit that the committee work has been excellent. The best committee work we, I believe we've ever had. We will stay the same. Well, I'm asking, I've, I've actually spoken with Ms. Esselton um, about switching with her to be on the um, superintendent. I think it's is it superintendent relations. Board so, superintendent so relations. To continue with working uh, with that, I guess with the other two members um, for the uh, job plan. I mean, there was only two on there? Mm -hmm. No, there's no, three. There three. three. Kim okay. said that she would. You talked about the board director. I'm not license. speaking. I'm just saying the conversation I had. She was agreeable oh. to switch with me for that. That's I would have wanted her. Kim to get to stay on it though, because she's been on it for so long. But who, who are the other? Two? Who, who's on that one? Then? Me, Ms. Johnson, and Ms. Robson. Okay. Actually, she hasn't been on it that long because. On that one, she did it last year with. I mean, I was on it with her like a year or two years ago in a row. Yeah, that was. I thought it was Steve. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would she then go to to a different one? Well, she's on the uh, the uh, the committee with Pat. Uh, what is that? The finance committee. Finance committee. She's on. And she's policy on policy committee. and governance. Right. And but is there anything else? And she was on that one, so that was three. So. Um, <coughs> Let me talk to her. If okay. it's all right. Yeah. I, I don't want to promise anything right away. I hope that doesn't cloud anything. We've, we've got a great system right now. I know I want to be sure we don't. And, and you'd be a fine member. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not insinuating that. School assignments. Uh, Bel Air, Ms. Lawson, East Lincoln, me. Uh, Jack Fair, Ms. Fogarty. Uh, Robert E. Lee, Ms. Johnson. East Middle, Mr. Hill, West Middle. Ms. Robson from high school from Ms. Usselton. And Pat, I think it would be important to mention that um, I'm sorry. I would just it would be maybe important to mention that Director Harbo asked us to um, make sure to visit our school. So and I think you know And I hope I suppose I've I've, 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 I've visited one that uh, being visited at the same time by another member, which is a good thing to have. Right, have right. I've, been to all, I've been all, I've been to every school but one, and I'll, I'll get it this week. And, and I, I, I feel safe that all schools have been visited. Okay. And, and believe you me, the visits have been appreciated. Uh, that gets us to the superintendent's <laughs> report. And I have a note there to recognize the fine arts work, and so we've already done that. <laughs> um, our, our fine arts, uh, Mr. Hensley did forget to point out, I think our band rocked it pretty well this weekend at competition. Oh, they did. Band and Color Guard did very well. Uh, and I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, this may be in our, uh, right down the street here, and be dis will be displayed there. Oh, I believe it's gonna be at South Jackson. Okay, yeah. all right, South Jackson here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of good stuff, great stuff going on at our schools. Football team rolled on last weekend against um, Spring, Hill. Spring Hill. We play uh, Lincoln County at home this week. It's homecoming. Our middle schoolers play tomorrow night. That's her eighth grade night over at the <coughs> at home football field. Jack, uh, Jack T. Farrow had a dance last Friday night. <laughs> and that's real big for, uh, for those kids. And uh, as far as um, personnel change, those are in your, the only one not listed there is Mr. Travis Moore. He's been um, appointed as an interim principal at East Lincoln. I was with him for the attendance Friday morning. He has and, been back And he was just as, <laughs> just as good at the attendance as his predecessor. <laughs> And our city, uh, our city board liaison is Rupa Shukla, I believe that's Rupa. Black was, yes, that one, I would assume she said. 
sitting yeah. meeting with our uh, our new base commander. But get out of school's a lot of great things going on, <coughs> and and, uh, and they'd love to see you all. Wait at this. I've that been to a day. couple of middle school football games this time, and I I can't get over the middle school band. I know it's huge. I, I mean the numbers, and they sound. So they sound I'm thinking like they haven't long. even had them for very long, and they no. already sound every year. So I mean it's it's amazing. Yeah. I just they are. I think it speaks to how that program does start that growth, and they have worked so hard to keep it fluid. And that's why they go to a competition. Right now. Do very well. <laughs> the uh, I've got a high school student, a Sunday school class. It's got it's in the band, and, and he said, I think this weekend's competition. There was twenty schools there, and they perform by enrollment of the, of the band, not students. Right. Mm -hmm. and, right. Uh, uh, those, we were, so we performed 19th, and uh, there was a, a lot of bands with pop, total school population much, much larger than our high mm -hmm. school that uh, performed before ours. They are, in, all the fine arts are, are to be commended in the notation of the, of the mural and that <coughs> flutes here tonight. Mr. Atticus is going to be doing more things like that during the, in, in conjunction with the, with the board meetings. I want to say we had to, we've had some tough times, but I, I cannot be happier with our selection of our interim director. We named him on Monday morning, excuse me, Monday at about 6.35. In <laughs> what, eight hours, about two in the morning, he gets a call from somebody in the, in the police department where he's got some trouble, and he didn't bat an eye. And I, I, he is, he is, he has hit the ground running with a smile on his face, and I want him to know that he's appreciated by this board. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I'm very humbled. I mean, I grew up here. I went to school in uh, in our schools. Uh, I was blessed enough to be able to teach and coach here and serve as an administrator. But uh, I am very humbled. I am very. Uh, grateful and I'm very excited. There are a lot of great uh, people in our classrooms doing a lot of great things um, with a lot of great, and, and I love the G word, a lot of great, because they are, uh, a lot of great folks administrating that and even more so, we've got a lot of great kids out there and uh, it's exciting. It, it's really rewarding to be able to get out and see all the magic that goes on in our classrooms but um, but I feel blessed. Thank you all for the opportunity. We all are. Any other comment? Is there a motion to adjourn? Second. So moved by Ms. Fogarty, we have a second. Second. Second by Ms. Johnson. Any further discussion? If not, if you're for adjournment, please raise your hand. Thanks, thank you all. <laughs>